Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this compound shape that consists of a, a square and an equilateral triangle such that all these sides are equal in length and moreover the side length is 8 units and now we are going to find the area of this green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. The area of this green shaded region is equal to area of this triangle ABE plus area of this square BCDE minus the area of this triangle ABC. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square BCDE. And here's the formula of the area of a square. Area equal to side length square. And our side length is 8. So therefore our area is going to be 8 square. So the area of this square is going to be 60. Four. So thus the area of this square BCDE turns out to be 64 square units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this equilateral triangle ABE now. And here's the area of an equilateral triangle formula. Area equals to S square times square root of 3 divided by 4 where S is the length of these uh, sides. So therefore the area of this uh, equilateral triangle is going to be square root of 3 divided by 4 times our side length is 8. So that's going to become 8 square and that will be equal to square root of 3 divided by 4. 8 square is 60 Four. Thus the area is going to be simply 16 times square root of 3. So thus the area of this equilateral triangle ABE turns out to be 16 times square root of 3 square units. Now you might be wondering what if you don't know the formula, this the formula of this equilateral triangle. Now let me show you an alternative method to find the area of this equilateral triangle ABE now. And here I have copied down this equilateral triangle ABE over here. And now let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point A to this line BE. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram and we know that these two sides are equal in length and whenever you draw a perpendicular then uh, this perpendicular is going to bisect this line BE. So that means this side length BM is going to be equal to ME. If uh, this side length is total length is 8 then this side length is going to be 4 and this side length ME is going to be 4 as well. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this side A, this side B and this longest leg C. Let's go ahead and apply this formula so that is going to be 4 square plus b square equal to 8 square so 16 plus b square equal to 64. Go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides so b square turns out to be 48. Let's take the square root on both sides so B turns out to be positive or negative square root of 48. 
And now we know that B represents the side length, so therefore B must be positive. So that's the reason why this must be positive square root of 48. And now here I have simplified this square root of 48 right up here. 48 could be written as 16 times 3 and then I split them up. So square root of 16 turns out to be a 4 and then times square root of 3. So therefore B value turns out to be simply 4 times square root of 3. So that means this perpendicular B value turns out to be a 4 times square root of 3. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABE. And here's the formula for the area of a triangle. Area equals to a half time base time height. In our case, our base is 8 and our height is 4 times square root of 3. Let's go ahead and apply this formula now. So area equals to a half time base is 8 times height is 4 times square root of 3. So we got 8 times 4 is 32 divided by 2 times square root of 3. So that means the area of this equilateral triangle turns out to be 16 times square root of 3. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC. And here's the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. In our case, our base is 8 over here but we don't know the height of this triangle so let's go ahead and calculate the height of this triangle ABC now and in this step I have created these auxiliary lines BF this AF and this AM and now we can see that this side length AF is the height of this uh, triangle ABC. Now let's focus on this rectangle FBMA. This side is got to be equal to this side that means AF equals to MB and these are the heights of this triangle ABC. And as I explained in my previous step that this side is equal to this side. So when we draw a perpendicular it's going to bisect this side BE. So this side length is going to be equal to this side length. If this is the whole length is 8 this has got to be 4 and this has got to be 4 units as well. So therefore our height this AF turns out to be 4 units. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC by using this formula now. So area is going to be a half time base in our case is 8 and our height is 4. So if we simplify that thing, so area turns out to be 16 square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 16 square units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green shaded region. And now let's recall our very first step. And according to that step area of this green region is going to be equal to area of this triangle ABE plus the area of this square BCDE minus the area of triangle ABC. Here I have figured out all these individual areas. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the area of this green region is going to be the area of this triangle ABE is this one 16 times square root of 3 plus the area of this square 
is 64 and then minus the area of this uh, triangle ABC is uh, 16. So thus if we simplify this thing our area is going to be 48 and then plus 16 times square root of 3. So thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 48 plus 16 times square root of 3 square units or in terms of decimals it is approximately equal to 75.71 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.